Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install Windows XP. So I'm going to go ahead and do shut down this command over here. I hope I did it right. Okay, it, it, it works. Um, once it reaches, I'm going to have to go ahead and edit my BIOS settings. This computer kind of takes a while to shut down. I'm on. I think it's okay. I think um, the reason why is because it's running on a hard drive and I don't want to use a solid state drive for this machine or I mean for this version of Windows because uh, solid state drives tend to uh, not work pretty with Windows XP unless you do some tweaks. Um, but Windows XP probably doesn't really support SSDs because it never even uh, it doesn't even know what an SSD is. So I'll just have to take its time to restart. Plus, um, Windows XP automatically defrags sometimes and does some tasks which wear and tear the SSD. So, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the 80 gigabyte hard drive anyway. Come on, come on, take your time, Windows. I know you can do this. I swear. Whenever I restarted this computer, it just didn't like sit there. Now it's just sitting there. I'll have to um, take it time. Anyway, I'm just gonna go and check my Discord anyways. Come on. Okay, I'm just gonna still look at the computer. Okay, we are getting somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and press... Is this F10? Oh, that's F10 to enter setup. Okay, thank you. All right, um, we have the fourth drive, which is the HP DVD, because I had a bunch of drives here, but now they're not. Okay. Um, also, the reason why I didn't install memory in memory banks one and two is because those memory banks uh, died, unfortunately. So I don't know how I can actually. Um, I don't know how I can fix them, I have no idea. I tried plugging the memory sticks all the way in, I just made sure there were the same memory sticks and I made sure that I plugged it in correctly into 1 and 3 and they didn't work. It didn't post, it didn't give me a beep or something, it's just black screen and that's it. So that's what confused me a lot. Um, I just had to do memory banks 3 and 4 and I had to install them intentionally the wrong way So I'm sorry for offending all of you because of a hardware issue, but yeah um, Anyway, we have onboard LAN which is probably gonna be enabled because we need to uh, seek the time and Then we have onboard audio this is that disabled. Okay, we don't need anything else um, however, we do need to do boot and we have to do hard drive group and um, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, do this and F10 and that's it, it will probably boot somewhere you can also press escape to uh, boot to the flash disk but I don't know it's probably stupid well actually it's not stupid it's fast what am I talking about okay it's working now Awesome. So, this is my custom, uh, custom, uh, grub menu, which I made. And I'm going to go ahead and do the default settings anyways, because it works. Watch out for some artifacts, by the way. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm gonna go ahead and drink some, uh, soda, because why not? Nice. There's like failed error messages and stuff, but it, it's not it's not a it's not the end of the world. Don't touch key map, uh language is thirty three. That and then yeah. Anyway, after that we go to uh, Gparted over here. I didn't even click on it, but thank you. 
And I'm going to start uh, partitioning. So I'm going to make some new partitions. I will do... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run the calculator on my phone or PC. I already have a calculator on my phone, on my PC. Excuse me. So this is an 80 gigabyte drive. I'm going to do... I'm going to boot two operating systems on this. So I'm going to do 76,318 divided by 2 is 38,159. Um, I don't know if it's going to be possible, but I think it would be. I don't exactly know. We can name the partition because um, we don't want to confuse it with another partition and eventually breaking our stuff in the end. But, yeah. I'm going to do 38159 and I'm going to do file system, excuse me, file system NTFS. And I'll do Windows XP. And that's it. So I'm going to go ahead and apply. And I'm also going to add another partition for Windows Server 2003. So that helps me uh, basically choose what kind of drives. And. Um, I'm going to just add that and then I'm going to click apply, apply, okay it's complete now and once we go ahead and do that we have two partitions now so we're going to go ahead and exit and we're going to reboot. And then once we reboot, we're going to go ahead and start the setup process. But first we have to do um, Windows, we have to do IDE mode. Reason being is because Windows XP doesn't have built-in AHCI drivers. But if you switch the compatibility to IDE on some machines, it will work. So I've had some cases where switching IDE won't work, so you have to have patches. But yeah, I think it works. Especially for SATA devices, because it allows you to install older operating systems. But you'll sacrifice speed unless you use AHCI, because I think IDE has some like speed limits or something. But it, it shouldn't be too much of a pain. So Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3. Reason why I'm not going to use I'm not I'm not going to do Windows 2000 is because uh, I'm using a graphics card which Windows 2000 doesn't support. It's a Quadro K2000. It's the Kepler architecture, and it's better than a GT730. Actually, it's quite interesting. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, stop talking. I'm gonna start Windows XP Professional Service Pack 3 setup, and this is part of the ser uh, setup process. I'm gonna go ahead and do a bunch of things. And to be honest, this is actually faster than doing this on a CD. Just a quick heads up. <clears throat> okay. Let's go ahead and set up Windows XP. And, um... There we go. So we have uh, Windows XP and we have Server 2003. Um, we can actually just go ahead and delete this partition here. Okay, and then we can just go ahead and enter to install and leave. Actually, we're going to format the partition using the quick file system. And it doesn't have anything on it, so we're fine and we're going to format. So we're doing a quick format on Windows XP. And I want the drive letter to be exactly C and E. So when we boot, it has to be like, I don't know. It has to boot somewhere. But anyway, after that, we're copying a bunch of files and we're going to see Meanwhile, I'm going to go ahead and look for a product key because I tend to forget them. So I'm going to look up uh, Windows XP product key. I know it's piracy, so I don't care. Because Microsoft doesn't really give a fuck. 
Okay. So we have Windows Service Pack 3 Professional. Um, let's see here. This one is Volume Retail or something. Okay. Um, I'll look for... So I think this one is like the either the retail or volume uh, version, I guess, the volume license. So I don't know. I think I could just do the volume one or the OEM. I think it might not work, but I guess it will. Actually, I think it will because I remember this key and it works, so. <laughs> anyway, while I uh, go ahead and copy a bunch of files, I'm just going to... I might just uh, cook some food or something. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Or, I don't know, I probably don't know what to eat. I mean, I usually snack, so it's not really... Fuck, my stomach is hurting. Well, that's always a great start for this morning. Let's get bottles of water. Because I'm probably running out a lot, so... I'm going to restart computer, and I'm going to get... Uh, bottles of water be right back Okay, I just had to steal my uh, parents' entire bag of water, because why not? And I don't have that much water in my room, so I did it. Uh, anyway. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get back to this. I'm going to go to the Windows XP setup, and I'm going to do the second part of Windows XP setup. No, I did not catch COVID, not even two days ago when I w went out for a walk because, yeah, I was just careful. <sighs> Maybe the rain made me a little sick, but it doesn't matter. I'm still alive, though, so. <coughs> okay. An exciting new look. I don't care. All I'm here for is to install this operating system and then some drivers because, yeah. I gotta get my product key up because the part with the product key will appear soon. Um, I'm gonna actually copy this key because um, I'm gonna copy this key over to a notepad, and you'll see it soon. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go to view, always on top, so that when I focus on anything else, the key is always right in front of me. Okay, that's great. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry, I just have like a little stuffy nose today, but it's not, it's not that bad. I 
I should get a uh, shower after recording this part, so. <clears throat> I was gonna do a little idea. I was gonna make a Windows XP theme, uh, with, which is like, instead of it being blue, like orange and green and stuff, it's gonna be red, all red. And I was, I probably don't know how I can achieve that, but I think it would be easy. Maybe it would be. Like, okay, if I had something like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some filters. Um, is there a way, yep, okay, there's a way. I'm gonna do filters. And I'm gonna look at uh, effect filters, I think. And there's color correction. Okay, I probably want it to be like um, something like uh... no, I probably don't want it to be like that. But I guess it, I probably want it to be like something like that. Um... There you go. And then. Um... Yeah, I probably wanted to be uh, something like that, except the green text. I needed like red or something. Yeah, something like that. That's 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 it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and re restore the original colors and stuff. I'm gonna remove this. <clears throat> <clears throat> Okay, we are here right now. I'm gonna name myself uh, Sarvin, and I'll do Pastel Junk. No. What about Team XE slash slash? I mean, we could do Team XE and Pastel Junk Punks because we're cool, right? Okay, M M6 TF9 8X Q2M YQK 9F. 7TBB2 XDG88. <coughs> okay. Now I need to do a desktop. Okay, I don't I don't know. I probably need to use something like um PC, I guess. I'm going to do PC. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do Cybern XP because, yeah. Okay, so it is 11 a.m. Oh, it is 11 a.m. It is a December, and I'm going to do Eastern Time. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Next. I am installing the network, and then I am, uh... <coughs> excuse me. I am installing the network stuff, and then, yeah. No, it doesn't really detect the Ethernet, but when we install drivers, we might be able to do Ethernet. Or maybe it already just has onboard LAN, because I think it's like a generic onboard LAN. <laughs> <coughs> um. Mm -mm. We can also do Shift F10, and we can just do Task Manager. We can see what's going on. Whoa! Okay. We could do LSASS or CSRSS. We're running a system, by the way, which is quite interesting. And uh, we have uh, four cores and four threads, so that's interesting. Um, we have our CPU usage history and stuff, so it's pretty nice. We can exit. Oh, we can do MS Paint on there. Uh, actually, we'll probably do blue spray, uh, blue spray paint and sup. 
y t and I'm gonna make the t a bit stronger like emphasis I don't know I probably I don't I have never used this in a while there we go sup y t and uh, another spray can okay exit no I don't want to save my changes notepad um D's nuts okay um I'm gonna do I'm gonna shield I'm gonna do link tree I don't know if that's the right link but here's my link tree and you can find my old, uh my social media pages I'm not sponsored by Linktree, so I don't like sponsors anyways. But you can find my uh, links in Linktree. I don't know exit. Is it even the right link? Let's see here. No, I. it's not the right link. It's I. It, it has an at. It has an uh, at symbol, so it's not the right link. But I had to. You can still visit my uh, links. You can still check out uh, Linktree if you want to see my links. But yeah. <clears throat> it's going to save settings in like 9 minutes. It's been about 21 minutes since... Um, I have been installing Windows XP. It's actually quite easy to install this operating system. Um, if you do it on an SSD, you'll probably have like a faster performance time, but I don't know if that's even true at all. Do you guys ever like get the nostalgia when installing Windows XP or something? Do you have that nostalgia? Do you have that kind of nostalgia? <clears throat> oh yeah, also um I was uh trying to figure out how to install Windows XP on this machine like when I got this PC I was worried because uh, it didn't have the PS2 ports on the uh, computer. However, however, I was a fucking dumbass and then I had to do IDE mode. And yeah, that's really it. I, I used another PC to install Windows XP, but now I'm using this computer because I realized I forgot about IDE mode, so that's quite interesting. But yeah. And along with that, it had to introduce some of our issues because um, installing Windows XP on another computer means that it's only configured for the computer you install it on. If you just uh, plug in a hard drive, the same hard drive to another PC, it won't really, you won't really be able to use your own mouse, keyboard, and stuff, and peripherals. Um, so I that I had like a bunch of issues. <clears throat> so guys, please don't make the same mistake I did. I'm going to put the screwdriver back cuz I don't want it near me. <coughs> <coughs> Seven actually. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this one. I right, boot to MBR, and now we are in. We are in Windows XP. Well, technically speaking, we we are in, but not fully in. Okay, we have a cursor on a blank screen. That's a good start. To improve the appearance of visual elements, okay, thank you. Thank you. 
Now, on some computers, this may not work, especially the Acer Aspire laptop, because it has issues with resolutions other than 640x480 for some reason. Um, I have no idea why it does that, especially on some other machines. But, yeah, it's kind of stupid. We'll go next. Not right now. Actually, I'm going to do automatic updates. Because I need to use legacy updates on this computer. Okay, Sarvin. Um, next. Finish. Hell yeah. I think it already has drivers for Ethernet, so... And after that, we're in. We are in. We are so in right now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, um... We're gonna see what we can do. So I have that SD card over here. I'm gonna plug in this SD card. And I'm gonna go ahead and take no action. I'm gonna go ahead and open this one. Always do the selected action. Okay. And I'm gonna look up the tools here. So I guess I'm gonna do web. And I'm actually gonna do drivers though. Are there any drivers here? Okay, my frame rate is a bit lower for some reason. I have no idea exactly why, but I'm going to go ahead and start deactivating a uh, seizure warning. Okay, it's still like kind of stupid. I'm just going to do 48 film and 60. Okay, it, it's it's looking a bit smooth right now. So, first things first I'm going to do is install a uh, 7-zip because fuck. Um I think that's the wrong version, but that's okay. Um, let's see here. That's for Windows Vista, so I, I don't know. I could do web, though. I could just do web, and I'm going to use my pal. Oh, it's an empty folder. Nice. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and right-click on this. Come on, Windows, take your time. I know you can do it. Fuck! Okay, I'm gonna extract all. Next. And I'm gonna do C documents and settings. Servant desktop. I think that's right, right? The directory. Yeah, okay, it's right! Okay. It's right. Oh, but it doesn't extract all of a sudden to the desk. Okay, there we go. That's great. That's perfect. Okay. <clears throat> we're going to look up some drivers. Um, and we're also going to do a snappy driver installer. So we're going to get the snappy driver tools. <clears throat> Virus protection. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do that not monitored. I don't have an antivirus software actually, which is nice, so automatic updates. I mean, it doesn't uh, it doesn't actually have automatic updates, but yeah. I'm going to go ahead and um, start searching right now. So I'm going to do snappy driver installer. Okay, so we can't actually connect to the internet now, but we can do dev mgmt.msc. Okay, as you can see we have we are missing the Ethernet controller, let's go ahead and find an Ethernet controller right now. So I'm going to go ahead and safely remove this hardware. Do not dis the uh, I'm going to display a bunch of these and I'm just going to go ahead and stop. There you go. Now we're going to go ahead and um, unplug the USB drive and plug it into my computer. And now we're going back to the desktop. So we're gonna f actually no. I'm not gonna stream my own desktop because that has personal personal information. Or you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and stream my own desktop because yeah, why not? Um, first things first. I need to <laughs> never send that to me again. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Norb. It's just kind of stupid. Okay. All right. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, that's sketchy. Yeah, I have a lot of sketchy shit on um. My PC, but that's okay. Anyway, 
I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna look up Ethernet controller properties and driver uh, details. I'm gonna do hardware IDs. Okay. PCI backslash Ben eighty. Okay, ten EC at uh, ampersand dev eight one six eight. Okay, so this one is a Realtek uh, RTL eighty eighty one sixty eight. Okay. Okay, so it's a realtech.cz, which is kind of sketchy, so, um, actually, I guess I could try. This has like 271,000, which is quite interesting. Okay, 271,000, I mean, like downloads. Okay. As you can see, I now have, um... The, uh, the internet driver. I'm also going to look up some other drivers like uh, there's base system device for some reason PCI simple communications controller which is a chipset driver I think that's probably just a chipset driver isn't it? Um, let's see here So this was the Intel Management Engine Interface Driver, so... Um, okay, so this was the Intel 5 3400... Uh, uh, excuse me. This was the chipset driver. Okay, we have uh, this right here. Um, I have no idea what this is, but I'm just going to do readme text file. Okay, so what is this now? January 11, 2013. So this is a Xeon processor. This one is Intel 4th Gen. So, no, I don't think this is the right one. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't have that stuff. Okay, what if I do, um, I need to get the chipset driver. Okay, um, so it seems like finding uh, Intel drivers are probably hard. So I'm gonna I'm gonna tackle this part with the Snappy driver installer because I think the Snappy driver installer does a great job. So um, one thing I don't want to do is um, install the Nvidia drivers with the Snappy driver tool, but that's okay. We could just do Quadro. Um, nvidia.com slash download and then RTX Quadro and then Quadro Series K2000. Great. And um, it's going to be production branch studio. There's no new feature branches. Actually, there is. What the fuck? Anyway, that's kind of interesting. Just kidding. Um, I picked Windows 10 instead of XP and there's no new feature branches for it, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. Now this driver has a problem with uh, some certain games, but it's not too bad. We could just use mods for some of these games because why not? We can use DG Voodoo and other things. And we could use like Nglide or something. Okay, we're gonna be going ahead and doing the XP drivers. So I'm just gonna do. Um, I'm gonna delete the tour. Uh, bridges because 
Yeah, I don't want the bridges on my computer. Okay. Okay, drivers, and it's going on a speed of 355 kilobytes per second. That's actually very disappointing. Just kidding, it rises back up. It's rising back up like a legend. It's only 8 megabytes per second right, which is disappointing to say the least. I bet it's even the same when we use USB 3.0 port. Okay. Okay, um, I'm going to look for some other controllers here. I guess this one is a, this one is going to be what we're going to tackle too. So, I'm going to go ahead and after that, I'm going to just go to the drive and eject the mass storage and then once I can do that, I will finally be able to get the drivers working. There we go. Now we can work. Um, we're just going to open the folder to view files. And then we have drivers, XP, SP3. And we're going to go to Sarvin's documents. And we're going to go ahead and uh, copy these files over here. Uh, actually, we're just going to right click them. We're going to copy here. Hope they start copying. Oh, there it is. I thought it wasn't working. Why wasn't it, though? <sighs> I'm gonna install the graphics driver first, and then the network driver. And yeah. Actually, no, I'm gonna do, it, do the network driver first. I want to go ahead and get the Ethernet controller, properties, details, I mean driver, I'm an update driver, no, I don't want to connect to Windows Update, I want to do snappy driver install later, actually, I'll do, this one, there you go. That's better. Okay. Now we have e uh, internet support. Now we're going to go ahead and run the NVIDIA driver. I made sure to download the right one. So this is for the Quadro K2000. I hope it works. Okay. I will agree, and I'm going to go to custom, and then we have a bunch of drivers. Um, actually, I want to look up like an NV, uh, NVIDIA cleaner or something, because I don't want like telemetry on these drivers, but I don't think it, provide, it really matters, but still though. Uh... I don't think anybody has like um okay, NV clean stall. I'm gonna do Windows XP. Okay. I don't think it's giving me anything, so Of course, Pangino, I see you everywhere. Of 
Fuck it. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just install the drivers like normal. I oh. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck was that? What? What? It just fucking crashed on me. What the fuck? That scared the shit out of me. Stop scaring me, bro. Stop being ratchet. Man. That actually scared the shit out of me. I, I don't know how. I think my browser is probably the reason why, is because there's a blue screen bug in uh, my pal. Whenever you close my pal, it crashes the computer for some reason. So I have no idea what what is really going on within the browser. I think it probably like does something with AV1 or whatever. I have no idea. Okay, I am going to go to my PC and I'm going to go to service documents and I'm just going to run oh. Excuse me. I'm going to run the installer again. Actually, I'm going to run this right here. Okay. I can go ahead and run the setup application here. Shut up, Windows. Oh my god, you're so fucking annoying. Next, next. Okay, I hope the installation goes okay. I'm just going to let it take its time. Okay, I'm going to restart the computer. And we should be able to see 1080p output. Okay, now we are in Windows XP and we have to configure our mouse settings. So we gotta go to control. Fuck! I gotta do control. There you go. And I gotta go to uh, performance and maintenance, of course. Um, I'll probably just tackle that later. But for now, we have to do mouse. Okay. And then we gotta do pointer options. Do not enhance my pointer position. There you go. Now it's working. Now it is very smooth. Okay. First things first, we gotta do the power options because we need to keep it awake. So uh, I'm gonna keep it awake. Never. Never, I mean. Advanced. What does that say? I'm gonna do preview scaling. Okay, so it's advanced. Uh, do not show icon on a taskbar. Prompt for password when the computer resumes. When I press the sleep button on my computer, do nothing because there's no sleep button in there. Um, there's no hibernation enabled. 
there's no power supply so there's no external power supply um, I wish I had one though for all my computers but that's probably just gonna cost a lot to maintain and slow frame rate again this is exactly why I have to, I, I don't know the OBS is kind of stupid with me nope it's kind of stupid okay I have to go deactivate and activate it again and then I'm just gonna go do this fuck it's always like that damn it I'm gonna do I gotta do this okay there we go I fixed it okay that's great I fixed it woo okay all right okay what am I doing here now I have to get snappy driver uh, installer first things first I'm gonna see and at the same time I have to go through like preview scaling there you go okay and I can't I don't have the monitor with me right now so that's the literally the only thing I can see is the capture card so I'm gonna go to Windows Update. never do this Windows Update drivers and drive signing what is this okay ignore install the software anyway and don't ask for my approval actually yeah I guess that's a handy because we're gonna mod this computer anyway do not allow remote assistance um, I'm gonna do settings okay do not automatically restart because we need to see we need to see this okay we have kernel memory dump we have small memory dump I think we could do kernel memory dump <clears throat> I'm gonna do small memory dump anyway okay and then we are gonna go to the best appearance because it works okay so we have system manage size and we're gonna set so basically anything has no paging file so I'm just gonna go ahead and okay yes I'm gonna restart my PC thank you okay every day at 12 a.m. in the morning and system restore I don't really need it sure actually you know what I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna enable it cuz yeah okay yes I'm gonna restart my PC and then once we once we restart I'm gonna go ahead and install snappy driver manager or a snappy driver installer fuck um I'm gonna really this is just part one of me installing Windows XP and just fucking around that's all I'm gonna go take a shower now hope to see you guys later in the next part <laughs>